Hey guys, today's tablet review is sponsored by Frunzi, and today we're going to be reviewing the Rubens Tablet T11 Pro. There it goes, the box. So we have a uh, cloth to wash the tablet screen with, because this is a tablet that we're going to be drawing on the screen. Oh! Oh, this is interesting. We got two gloves this time. Not just two gloves, we got, we got a third glove over here. I've never seen a... I've never seen one have three gloves before. Uh, let's see. So it fits two fingers in. Let's try on these ones. Put it on the wrong hand. So one for each hand. Uh, I usually don't use gloves, but they're very good at gripping. I can, I can feel the grippiness. Comes with a little needle. I think it's used to, to put the little nubs in. Little tablet pen nubs. Oh, it's a charger. Oh, charger for the tablet. Okay, what else comes in here? I'll open this up soon. <laughs> this might be where they put all the, the nubs. I'm not too sure. Got the cable to plug into your tablet, I think, and charge it. Uh, there's something else in here. The tiniest little battery. Yeah, and then I just have this little needle bit, which I'm just gonna leave to the side. Not too sure what that's used for. Let's open up this thing, since I don't know what this is. Kind of reminds me of lipstick. Oh, oh, what is this? It comes out like lipstick, too. It's like a mixture between like soft and rough, if that makes sense. The individual strands, but the, the top is soft. So here's our tablet pen. This is so interesting to me because like I'm not used to having a uh, tablet pen with little holders there. It's a box of anything. It does, there's weight to it. It's not just a box for decoration. Oh, cute. So here's thank you card and whatnot for those who purchased the tablet manual. So this is <gasps> packet. Don't eat this, guys. Don't eat this. This is dangerous. <laughs> okay, so this is where you keep your tablet inside. You'd put your pen right in here in this little hole. It has a little flap so you can prop it up. So it has like a magnet function. This also has a magnet function so it's not flopping around. You know, you can close it <laughs> like that. Smack it again. <laughs> I think this is the last thing. Let me just check the box. Foam. Here it is, the tablet reveal. Alright, and there's everything that comes with this tablet. You have two sets of gloves, a screen wipe, a cord to go and plug the tablet in to charge it, a tablet case holder, tablet pen, the little brush, and a little battery. Right, so it looks like you can unscrew the top in here. Oh, there's, an, there's already a battery inside. Okay, so they give you an extra battery. But yeah, this is everything it comes with, and you know, now we'll test it out. When you first turn on the tablet, you do need to set it up. Setup took me about 30 minutes, however, you are able to skip those steps and begin using it. The only thing I recommend is setting up the Wi-Fi first, that way you can download your apps and access the internet. This tablet does ask if you are a kid, teen, or older, as a safety measure for parents looking to buy this for their own kid. The tablet also has a copy setup so you can transfer stuff from your phone or past tablets onto this one. This even works for iPhones, which I was very surprised about because normally iPhones get excluded when it comes to other products that aren't from Apple. The Frenzy tablet is powered by Android 12. The screen size is 10 inches HD with 1920 resolution, and it uses USB-C for the charging cable. It also has a mini HDMI, a TF card slot, plus headphone jack. They also have a one-year warranty in case anything happens to your tablet, which is always reassuring. It comes with 4GB of RAM and 64GB storage. It supports TF card readings up to 128GB, which is enough storage for apps and digital drawings. First, we will talk about the photo quality. And I'm not gonna lie, but it's not the greatest. It can get the job done, but the quality kind of reminds me of the early 2010s. Next, we'll judge the microphone, and well, you can hear it for yourself when I test it with Johnny. Hello, this is mic test for the tablet. Wibbity bobbity boo. <laughs> to be fair, usually built in mics are never really the greatest. Um, if you ever use this to talk with someone, I kind of recommend getting a different mic or like a mini microphone. When making video calls, the camera was also a bit too zoomed in, so I had to keep my arm at a very far distance to use the webcam. The webcam quality is honestly not that bad and works pretty well. To test this tablet and how it runs games, I downloaded a mini game with cats that work at a cute restaurant, and it worked really smooth. I got a bit addicted to it, and of course, watched a bunch of ads. All of them being Genshin Impact. 
So I thought, why not test the tablet on that as well? Running the game on my $2,000 PC already made it overheat. So how would a $220 tablet compare to that? And well, here are the results. It works. Um, it's kind of laggy and the frame rate jumps when there are enemy spawnings. However, the game is still playable and runs decently enough. Surprisingly, my battery was still pretty good after playing this for an hour. For the battery life, it does last pretty long. I was able to use the tablet without needing to charge it for two days, which was pretty nice. If you're very active and always playing mobile games on your tablet, then of course you're going to have to charge it more frequently. But if you're just using it casually like me, then you can go two days without having to charge it. Or if you use it the whole day, then normally you just need to charge it at night before going to bed. I also really like the tablet cover it came with. It had these little grooves on the back so it could actually hold up your tablet. And I quite like the wooden and leather texture it had as well. I really enjoy the tablet pen. There was a nice weight to it that feels like you were holding one of those high quality fancy pens that you only see at business offices. The pen is even heavier than the current tablet pen I use for my PC, and that might be due to the fact that the pen does have some metal around it, which makes it great for sticking onto the tablet cover since the tablet uses magnets to have it close and have the little back panel stick to it. One con I don't like is that the tablet pen needs a battery, and I've never really been a fan of that since it causes a lot of battery waste. And the tablet pen does not come with extra nibs. For me, that's not a problem. I've never had to replace any of my tablet nib ever. Like, I've been using some tablets for almost 10 years now, never had to replace the nibs. But obviously, if you're the type of person who presses down really hard, then it's going to leave wear and tear on the nib, and you're going to have to find some way to replace it. So for those who do end up buying this tablet and you do press really hard, please do your research so you know what kind of tablet nib you're getting. I did try testing it out with other tablet nibs that I have here at home and they did not work with this so the company definitely makes a special kind of tablet nib so it does work on the screen. The pen is very specific to this one so please do your research if you're getting the tablet nib for it or else you might buy one that doesn't even work. Something I really loved about this tablet is that it perfectly fit in my backpack and when I say perfectly I mean perfectly. If this tablet was any bigger, then I wouldn't be able to travel around with it, so that made me really happy. It's pretty lightweight as well, it did, never felt too heavy on my hands or anything like that, so that's definitely a plus. And now that we've covered all of that, we can finally talk about the tablet's main highlight, drawing. When you first pick up the tablet pen, you're able to draw with it instantly, without needing to download or update anything. The pen is just able to work as soon as you turn on the tablet. Normally when I draw, I usually rest my hand on the drawing surface, which if you're an artist, most people recommend that you don't do that. And for this tablet, it's definitely best that you don't, because sometimes when you have the touch sensitivity from your hand, it can make extra lines or dots. I do recommend using the glove, however, even with the glove on, you can kind of still make lines on it if you press too hard, so just be careful. It also does help with keeping the surface clean so you don't have a bunch of smudges marks everywhere so that's nice. The pen tracking is really good and the screen quality is nice. I like how bright and vibrant it is. I also really enjoy drawing in the middle of the night without having to leave the comfort of my own bed. So today I'm gonna go and test out this tablet by drawing my two cats Mia and Spooky. I've always wanted to draw them as chows. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. I know some people like drawing their pets as Mobians first but I've always been interested to just actually draw them as chows. They're, they're my pets. They're my pets. I want to go and make them chows. So, chow pets we go. And with all that said, here's the results for the drawing of my cats as chows. Honestly, I'm really happy with how this turned out. They look adorable. I, I like it a lot. I had a lot of fun drawing on this tablet. And even with the cons and pros, 120 USD is honestly a really fair price for a tablet like this. Thank you so much, Frincy, for sponsoring this video, and thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to go and check the link below if you're interested in buying a tablet like this yourself. I hope you all have a great day, and bye everyone! Bye bye! Thanks for watching the video!